Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the BRICS PLC Analog Dust Till Dawn program. So I'm currently connected to my uh, BRICS PLC, uh, which is part of the Do More family. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen, you will find that we have our, our analog dust to dawn program. Now a dust to dawn sensor is usually a discrete on off for lighting control. And if we want to vary the lights to mimic more of the sunset and sunrise, we would use the analog output to control the lights. I was recently asked about such a program. Every day they wanted the lights to go off at 10 p.m. and come back on at 6 a.m. And at 9.30 p.m. the lights would be on at 70% or about 7 volts of the of 0 to 10 volts analog output signal. And in the next half hour they will bring the lights down from 70 to 0. And in the morning the lights will come back on within the half hour from 0 to 70. Poultry farms are a great example of a place that would utilize this program. Now if we look up on the screen here, we can see that we have our analog scaling. It's RY1, which represents from WY1, which is the output of our uh, BRICS um, PLC. And our scaling is from 0 to 10 volt DC, or the output will equal 0 to 2571. Now if we look at um, how we get that, we wanted 7 volts in 30 minutes, which is 1800 seconds. So in 10 volts, it'll be approximately 200 or 2571 seconds. So that's how we get our timing. So currently right now, you'll see my program. If I'm below or equal to the hour of 5 a.m. and I'm less than 6 a.m. or 6 in the morning, and I'm greater than 30 seconds or 30 minutes then I start a one second pulse on a leading edge which then will increment my scaled um, RY1 value and then if I have the same conditions here I use my negative um, pulse flag and what it will do is automatically put 1800 into that value and that 1800 represents the 7 volts as we just discussed then anything uh, greater than the hour 6 and less than the hour 8 or, or 8 o'clock 8 p.m. then we move 1800 into um, that unit which again we, you're mimicking the daytime so then if we want to decrement or turn it off we have to be greater than 8 a.m. but less than 9 a.m. and then we have greater than 30 uh, minutes and then again we pulse our one second pulse flag which then will decrement our uh, output and it will start pulsing every second down back to zero again and then we have once this becomes negative or or false or goes from on to off on that rung we move zero back in so we turn off the lights then we have uh, time between if it's greater than uh, 9 at 9 p.m. then what we want to do is put zero and ensure zero is in there and if it's less than 5 a.m. we want to ensure that zero is in there to keep the lights off and then we have our end statement so that's our entire program and we can actually look at our configuration so if we go to our system configuration under the project or we can go through our main menu we'll double click on it we will go to our, there's our IO configuration, there's our setup, and we have our module configuration. We can go to our analog output, and we have our analog output here, and here's our first one, WY1. So currently right now the range is 0 to 32,767, 15-bit, and what we will do is we'll enable our scaling, and our scaling from 0 to 2051 or, or 2571 will represent 0 to 10 which represents our voltage on our DC so that is our scaling 
So we'll just get out of here. And what we can do is let's go online with our hardware. And so here's our hardware. And you see I'm connected with my Bricks PLC here. I'm communicating through my Ethernet uh, port here to my controller. And then I have my input analog and my output analog. My output analog, the first uh, connection, is actually being monitored through my multimeter located right here. So we'll see our voltage go from 0 to 7 as we run the program. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at our um, program here. And if we go over, we're looking for between uh, greater than 5, which it is, and less than 6, which it is, and greater than 30 uh, minutes. So right now we're 13 minutes. And so let's go to the PLC and we'll go to set PLC clock. And when we do that, what we'll do is set this uh, for uh, manual settings. Five. And we'll say this is going to be uh, 29 and 55 seconds. And we'll set that clock. So now what will happen is as soon as it turns 30, we will start to increment on our output, which then in turn starts incrementing on our meter. So you can see now that the between we're in the time frame between 5.30 and 6 a.m., we are actually incrementing that and our lights are actually slowly being turned on. So instead of waiting for that, what we'll do is let's go to uh, our next rung. And in our next rung, um, we have to have the same conditions, but it's looking for the transition. As soon as I get that transition, I move 1800 in, which will automatically bump it up to my seven volts. So again, let's go into the clock and we will set manually. And what we'll do is we'll do five, uh, 59 and 55 seconds. So again, as soon as I get to that time frame, it'll automatically bump me up. And what will happen is you'll see that we automatically put our 7 volts on our output side. Now, our next rung here, we'll keep it at 1800. As long as our hours be greater than 6 or less than uh, 8 or 20, which is representing 8 p.m. Which is exactly what it's doing. Then finally, our next line, we have to be um, greater than or equal to uh, 20, which is 8 p.m. And less than 9 p.m. And our minutes have to be or minutes have to be greater than 30. And again, we have a one second timer, which then starts decrementing. So let's enter, let's try that out and we'll set our PLC. So we'll go our 8 p.m. and we'll go 29.55 and we'll set that. Now as soon as it goes to 30 then what we'll do is start decrementing as we can see now that's exactly what we're doing here. And you can also see my meter is now starting to um, count down. So we can see that value of our analog coming down, which will dim the lights down to zero, mimicking the sun uh, set. Then on our next line, we have the same conditions with our um, negative transition, which will automatically put zero in. So let's go again, PLC, we'll set our time and we will set it to 8.59.55. So once we set it, as soon as I go to um, nine o'clock, it automatically puts zero in. 
which then uh, zeroes out our analog so our lights are now off again and they will remain off um, past nine o'clock on this one here so let's go anything greater than nine we'll say it's going to be uh, we'll say 11 o'clock and again this part kicks in keeps the lights off and then we have to be under or less than uh, five so once it's past midnight so again let's go past midnight set our clock and we'll say um, this going to be 2 a.m. in the morning and we can set the clock there and then you can see that my bottom condition here is now active which then keeps it at zero. Now if you enjoyed this video please click the like button below. If you have any questions about the video please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our two free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get the more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.